In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get to Volcano Manor and inside parts of it. To do this, we're going to collect both Dectus medallions left and right. I'm going to use the Dectus lift to get to Atlas Plateau and then we're going to travel through Mount Gelmir to get to the Volcano Manor. So let's get started. The purpose of taking the Grand Lift of Dectus will be getting to the Atlas Plateau and if you already have access to Atlas Plateau please skip to the point in the video I mentioned in the top right there. The first place we're going to be going to is Fort Height, which is in Limgrave. We're going to be going to get there to get the left medallion. So when you head up to the fort, there's going to be a golden seed just in front. It's always useful to get those. I'm going to jump past this, this guy there, and we're just going to head to the top of this fort. Once we're at the top, there'll be a tower. We climb the ladders inside this tower and there's going to be a chest and we're just going to grab the item inside which is the left medallion which we're going to use to access the grand lift. There it is. Next we're going to be getting the right side of the medallion which can be found in Fort Farah in Caelid which I'm showing here on the map. So once we're in front of the fort, we're just going to head up into it. It's going to be pretty dark in the first room, so if you bring a torch, it makes it a little bit easier, but honestly, you don't need one. It's going to just be one set of ladders. You go up these ladders, and the chest is going to be right there at the top. There it is. Just grab that. We have both parts of the Dectus medallions now. So, so with both medallion parts, we're going to need to head to the Grand Lift of Dectus now. To do that, we can. there's two ways. We can head through the academy there, take the way portal across the bridge or we can um, head up to the manor at the top very top there and there's a little pla rock platform we can go across and we head up to Bellum Church I'm just going to show you that now you'll see the rock platform here and you can just access this area without getting any fights you just need to get on your horse and head up to the manor at the very top of the lake area so there's always a sacred church in a uh, sacred tier in most churches, right? So make sure to grab that. So you head across the highway to the lift next. There's gonna be some catapults which fire at you, so just make sure to be careful. Zigzag maybe to get past those. So once you're at the lift area, you're gonna need to head up these stairs and there's gonna be a circle you land on and then you hoist a medallion, so you just click Y or whatever controls for that. Okay, so we're going to need to head to the Atlas Highway Junction. We're going to get to the Volcano Manor now. To do that, we need to get to Mount Gelmir. And there's a rope bridge we can use, which is quite close to this grace right now. So we just head up the road. There's a golden seed there, so make sure to grab that. There's a map as well. So once you get to this map, we're going to head left. And there's going to be a church again with another sacred tier. And we just come into this church, grab the sacred tier if you don't have it already. And we're just going to head north from here. And there's going to be an airlift. Not the one down there, but up on this ledge here. There's an airlift. We take this. And we're going to come just in front of this rope bridge, which is going to take us to Mount Galmir. So once at Mount Galmir, we're going to need to head across um, the mountains and tops to get to Volcano Manor. I'm just going to show you the exact route because um, it's hard to see the ladders sometimes. So we're just going to head through these ruins of the war and battlefield. And in the second part, or maybe the third part, two virgin abductors there, you head to the left. And just where there's two torches against the wall, there's the ladders too. It's kind of dangerous here, I get hit a few times, so be careful. For the first set of ladders, you're going to come to a tower and you're just going to head to the right of this tower and you're going to see a rock platform. Go across this platform now. And another set of ladders. And now we just go up like um, what, two or three more sets of ladders. It takes a bit of time, I'm speeding it up quite a lot. Pretty safe this part, honestly. So now we just head over another rope bridge 
and there's going to be an airlift which is going to take us to a fallen beast um, boss. And we're just we're literally just going to skip it. Unless you want to fight it, it's pretty strong. So. Okay, so head down this rock platform. Take a sharp left and there's Volcano Manor. It's in front of you. Down here. There's a giant guy in there, just go past him. Yeah, so now we're at Volcano Manor. And there's an inner part of Volcano Manor you can get to with a bunch of items. It's got like somber stones 5, 6, and 7. That's all. Awesome. So we have the Volcano Manor um, Grace now. To get to the Prison Town Church Grace, we're going to need to start this quest line. So if you talk to this lady and join the Volcano Manor, she'll give you a key. We're going to head into the first room on the right in this hallway. And there's going to be a secret door just here. You head through this secret door and you're going to stay to the right of these hallways. It's very dark in here. You need a torch, I would say. Um, there's a hard enemy in that room, so run past him. Stay on the right and you can come to the prison town church here. Yeah, so you just head through this door and now you're in the inner parts of the man. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.